Yes, we're here at Metropolitan Market in Kirkland. It's never too early to plan for Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Alexander Hedin, and Thanksgiving can be stressful. The main dish is already set, but what about the sides? My friends tell me they end up spending all day in the kitchen, so I have some solutions that are going to save you time, but keep your meal really elegant and beautiful. We're going to start with a mushroom risotto. Mushrooms are in season right now, and they're gorgeous. And then I'm going to make some of my specialty mashed potatoes. To start with our risotto, I'm going to put some oil and garlic and onions in a pan. We're going to cook those up so they get nice and brown and toasty. Um, the mushrooms that we're using today are chanterelles. And these are gorgeous chanterelles. They just came in. They were foraged here in the Northwest. And they're so beautiful. Um, we're going to put this in a hot pan and let it cook until these start to get brown. So you can use any kind of mushrooms that you want in this. Matsutake, mayatake, oyster. You can use anything except really portobellos. The trick with portobellos is that they give off that brown color that they're so beautiful with, but that gets into your rice, and then your rice turns kind of a muddy brown, and that's not the most beautiful thing to serve at Thanksgiving. Risotto is a great dish to make for Thanksgiving because it takes 15 to 20 minutes, start to finish. So now we're going to add our white wine, and that's going to deglaze the pan, and we're going to toss in our rice. And we're gonna let the rice soak up all of that white wine and we're gonna let all of this simmer together until the white wine's totally absorbed. And once the wine is absorbed, which we'll add in our chicken stock. So this recipe calls for two cups of chicken stock. Um, it makes the rice a little al dente, which I prefer. If you like yours a little um, smoother and creamier, just add more chicken stock. We add it a half cup at a time until it's totally absorbed into the rice and then you add the next half cup. So this is gonna start to absorb and cook and you just sit and stir it and chat with your guests. Don't stir it the whole time because it'll get gummy. And here we have one that's already cooking and we're just gonna add a little bit of chicken stock, just the last half cup or so, and we're gonna cook that down. Um, and this pan is nice and screaming hot. So as soon as that gets absorbed, we're gonna add our peas and butter and Asiago, and that's gonna get beautiful and creamy this is going to taste so good next to that turkey with all these fresh local flavors. So my specialty, mashed potatoes, the trick with those is to add the butter before adding cream cheese. And cream cheese is the secret. That's what keeps them good. Um, we're going to add the butter first. We're going to mash the butter into these potatoes. These are Yukon Gold potatoes that we've already peeled and boiled until fork tender. And then we just mash the butter in. We want the butter to totally coat the starch. And once that's good and done, we add our cream cheese. And this is just a half batch. So a whole batch would definitely serve your whole family. Now we're going to plate up. So we have our turkey already cut. We're going to add our mashed potatoes. And these smell delicious. We're going to add our beautiful risotto that has these gorgeous green peas and fresh local mushrooms. And then just a scoop of our cran cherry relish. This is a gorgeous relish with fresh cranberries, dried cherries, and a little bit of cherry juice. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's find out. Mmm. <laughs> for all the recipes you've seen here today, plus craft ideas for Thanksgiving, go to my website, alexanderhedin.com.